what's up guys, uh, AshBFC here, um, and I decided to do something just a little bit different uh, for my channel, and I'm just going to show off my uh, my video game collection. Um, you know, I just thought I'd do something different than usual walkthroughs and let you guys hear my voice for the first time. Well, that's probably a bad thing, uh, obviously I've got a very northern accent, so obviously coming from the north of England, but... So some people might find it hard to understand what I say, I apologise for that, but it's the way it is. That's kind of why I don't do commentaries on my walkthroughs. I've not exactly got the voice for it, but... Anyway, yeah, and, uh, I'm, I'm having to record this on my uh, my iPhone, because it's like the only camera I have, really. I, I had a Flip HD, but it broke, and well, yeah, I'm having to use this now, so the pictures aren't going to be the best. No, it's the sound, but for now it's the best I can do until whenever, but... Yeah, I'm sure of uh, my collection. I mean, before I start, it's it's really not that great. In fact, it, it's quite underwhelming. But you know, whatever. I'll show it anyway. Uh, we'll start off with uh, obviously uh, Xbox 360. Uh, I'm not collecting these as such since they're not really rare. There's no value to them that much, really. But uh, obviously, we got Shadows of the Damned. Uh, actually, I need to sell that. I've just recently completed that great game. Uh, Portal 2. Uh, st still got to complete that game. Shame on me. But, yeah, I'll do it one day. Uh, WE 12. I've just got to stop buying the WE games. Uh, the same crap every year. And I still keep buying them. I'm, I'm an idiot for doing so. But, I mean, I don't really like WWE, to be honest, right now. It, it's not quite the company it was, obviously. I'm an Attitude Era guy. I'm not going to go on about the Attitude Era. Everyone does. I'm also sick of hearing about it. But, yeah. Funnily enough, the next one, WWE 13, is focusing on the IG era, so no doubt I'll play it, no buying it. But, nah, whatever. But anyway, uh, Sonic Generations. I, I, I think I'm going to go out and call this the best Sonic game since Sonic Adventure 2. Uh, that might be a bold statement, but we all know Sonic has been on the decline as of lately. But, I shall say that, Sonic Colors was really, really good. Um, but, yeah, I, I thought this was a really unique idea of bringing back classic Sonic and I thought it was really good actually I think the 3D Sonic levels were better than the 2D but yeah I think it's a really great game uh, there is hope for Sonic yet well, actually the uh, Sonic the episodes on the uh, downloadable episodes haven't been that great out of the episode 1 and 2 they kind of suck to be honest but yeah whatever moving on uh, we've got Mass Effect 3 a huge Mass Effect fan um but this game seems to be getting so much hair. I remember when it first came out, all of them, all I was hearing about was this ending, this controversial ending. Oh, it just ruined the series, and that's all I was hearing. I wasn't hearing how amazing this game was, or how amazing Mass Effect was in general. It was just, just so negative. And, uh, but, yeah, I, I mean, I really didn't find the ending. I've seen all the endings now. Uh, I forgot which ending I originally did myself, but I uh, watched them all on YouTube, and... They're really not that bad. Are they the best endings? No. Are they the worst endings? Definitely not. They left me satisfied. That's what she said. Sorry. I had to say it, but um Uh yeah, Mass Effect is just amazing. I mean you just there's just no pleasing games nowadays, is there? I I loved it. I thought it was brilliant. But yeah, anyway, um Saints Row the third we got, Red Dead Redemption, I think that's possibly Rockstar's best. I don't know, it's amazing. Um, yeah, unbelievable. Uh, I've still got to do uh, the DLC for it. Is it what's it called? Un Undead Nightmare? Is it called? Yeah, I've still got to get around to doing that. Obviously, we've got Skyrim there, and speaks for itself. Amazing. Big Elder Scrolls fan. Um, I'm still waiting for the DLC. I'll be honest. What I'm seeing of the upcoming DLC, not not look that impressed. Impressive, but I'll get it. Probably get it. Um, Final Fantasy Thirteen just recently did that. Regardless, of what people again, this game gets so much hate. But I liked it, I thought it was great. Not my favourite in the series, definitely not, but I, I loved it, I thought it was great, and I definitely need to pick up a 13 2 at some point. So, yeah, I don't know why people hate this game so much, but I thought it was good. Yeah, uh, obviously, uh, but Resident Evil 5, that's been on my shelf for far too long. I just, I hate the direction Resident Evil's gone. I, I want my survival horror back. Come on, Capcom. I mean, it's not going to happen, is it? I, I'm just. Not got through. I've tried so many times to get through this game, and I can't do it. It's by far the worst Resident Evil in the main series. It's just this game was nothing but disappointing. 
I'm just not a fan. Sorry, people, but you know, I think the last good Resident Evil was Resident Evil, Resident Evil Zero, maybe Resident Evil One, the remake on the GameCube. That was my personal favorite. It's called Veronica, but whatever. Obviously, my, one of my latest pickups was Witcher Two: Assassin of Kings, uh, Enhanced Edition. Uh, I've, I've briefly played it. Uh, but I'm not going to get into it until I've got you know a lot of time to fully focus on this game. As I mean, I've heard nothing but good things. And what I have played, it does look pretty damn good. So yeah, at some point I'll get around to doing that. And obviously, uh, Metal Gear Solid HD Collection. Obviously, I'm the biggest Metal Gear Solid fan of all time. Had to have it. Uh, but for some reason, they decide to bring out uh, Metal Gear Solid 2, 3, and Peace Walker. I don't know why they did that. I would much rather have had... Uh, Metal Gear Solid, the PlayStation version, instead of Peace Walker. But, yeah, it's just the way it is. But yeah, it's still great to be able to at least play 2 and 3 in HD on the big screen. And uh, it does actually include uh, the original two Metal Gear games. Um, uh, obviously, the, the translations have been updated on them to, to be a lot better. And it's obviously it's great for people who never played them to see just where Metal Gear, so uh, Metal Gear started. And just see how far it's come. Just, yeah, Metal Gear Solid. Amazing. Can't stress how, how passionate I am about the Metal Gear Solid series. Amazing. Uh, and we move on to the very small PS3 collection. Uh, Ninja Gaiden Sigma. I've still got to do all of these. Um, Siren Blood Curse. Resonance of Fate. Uh, I've got, obviously, I'm a huge God of War fan. So I've got the volumes two there, which are the two PSP games. So... Uh, uh, Chains of Olympus and Ghost of Sparta, just unbelievable games. Uh, obviously, great to have them in HD again, and then obviously the first one, which is the uh, in the collection, which is God of War one and two. Again, amazing, two of the best PS PS two games, I think. And then right here we have the sole purpose for me buying a PS three, Metal Gear Solid four, Guns of the Patriots. Amazing, absolutely amazing. It's just such a great ending to the Metal Gear series. Well. So we thought it looks like Metal Gear is going to continue, which I, I really don't know how I feel about that. I just kind of wish it ended right there. I thought it was perfect. Just just amazing. Absolutely amazing game. But yeah, and also um, two absolute work of art in Ico and Shadow of the Colossus. Got the HD collection there. Those games are just amazing. I mean, I'm, I'm, uh, wow, what's the name of that new one coming out from this, these guys? Is it The Last Guardian, is it called? Have I got that right? I might have got that wrong. But anyway, it's from these these uh, guys. And uh, it looked amazing. I don't know if it's been cancelled. Now I actually need to look up on that game. I don't think it was at E3 or anything like that. But yeah, just amazing two games. And then that's it for PS3. Very, very small. Uh, but I'm not collecting them. So Obviously on to Wii, which is my least favourite console of this generation. But... Certainly not a bad console, I don't think. Gets a lot of unnecessary hate, but uh, Resident Evil 4 Wii Edition. I, mean, I like Resident Evil 4, and I've just had a bit of a rant on the Resident Evil series, but I think it's extremely overrated, but it, it still maintains some of the atmosphere from Resident Evil, in a sense. I mean, it was still good, but yeah, the Wii Edition there. Uh, with the Metroid Prime trilogy, absolutely must have for the Wii owners. Uh, Silent Hill, Shattered Memories. Uh, again, a big fan of Silent Hill. I know he gets a lot of hate now, does the Silent Hill series, but, you know, certainly will, at least it's still survival horror, at least, well, to a, to an extent, at least it still kind of sticks to its roots, it still has that atmosphere to it, doesn't it? And I really enjoyed uh, Homecoming, despite it being quite hated on, and Downpour as well, I enjoyed Downpour. Uh, you know, it could have gone all action-orientated like Resident Evil over there. But nah, they kind of stuck to it, and you know you do feel like playing a Silent Hill game when you're playing them. I mean, they're not—it's not as good as it was. It doesn't quite have that magic of it, but I still think they're really good. So yeah, they've not—they've not sold out. Yeah, these companies that are making them now—I forgot which, I forgot who develops them now. Obviously, Team Silent don't make them anymore. But anyway, quickly moving on, we've got Monster Hunter Try, we've got Little King's Story, uh, Legend of Zelda: Skyward Sword. Uh, it's a limited. Is it limited? Which one is it? Yeah, I got the limited edition, the special orchestra CD. Yeah, but yeah, I really enjoyed this game. 
Uh, not my favourite in the Zelda series, but still, damn, I thought it was actually better than Twilight Princess, which I know I'm probably going to get a lot of hate for that, but I, I enjoy it. I thought it was really, really good. I'm a huge Zelda fan. And uh, yeah, it was a very slow burner. It took a long time to get going, but I think when it did, it, it was good. I think, I, to be honest, I think it brings some of the best things that the Zelda series has ever seen. Yeah, I also think it brings some of the worst, but you know what? I'm not going to go on about it. It was a great game. And then, uh, oh, actually, we have another Xbox game there. We have UFC Undisputed. Huge MMA fan. I've kind of shifted from wrestling these past few years and moved on to MMA. So, yeah, uh, another Wii game, Super Mario Bros. Wii. Uh, we've got Xenoblade Chronicles, The Last Story, and Pandora's Tower. Uh, got them, those two are limited edition. You know, with the soundtracks and art books and that lot. Um, but... Yeah, I'm currently playing Pandora's Tower, and I am friggin' loving it. Amazing game. I'm gonna get this one done first, and then I'm gonna move on to Xenoblade. I hear very good things about this, but I also hear it's ridiculously long. So yeah, and then I'm gonna do Last Story, because I'm saving that to last. I think that's probably gonna be my favourite, because it, it's by Mistwalker, and their last game, uh, Lost Odyssey, absolutely blew me away. It was one of the best, you know, JRPGs I've ever played. It was just unbelievable. Sadly, it was a 360 exclusive, so PS PS3 owners didn't get to play it, Wii owners didn't get to play it, and uh, I don't think it sold all that well to be honest, which is a real shame because it's so underrated. It was it was absolutely amazing, like the, one of the best JRPGs I've ever played. It it was just the story and the emotion and every it was just amazing. I loved it. So I've I've got high hopes for this one. Hopefully it won't disappoint me. But yeah, also got uh, Super Mario Galaxy two there as well. On to the very small GameCube collection. I did warn you, not a very impressive collection, but whatever. Uh, Eternal Darkness we got there. Very creepy game. <laughs> I really like that. It was pretty damn scary. I thought it was a really cool game. Uh, absolutely brilliant remake there of Resident Evil, the original, 1996 original. You're probably going to say this version is better than it. It really is good. Graphics are amazing. They still look good today. I mean, really. Brilliant game. One of my personal favourites in the Zelda series, The Wind Waker. Brilliant, one of my least favourites in the Zelda series. Sorry guys, but that's Twilight Princess. Now this game's actually pretty expensive now, the GameCube version is anyway. So yeah, you gotta pay a reasonable amount of money for this. So uh, yeah, I'm glad I got that. And this one's even rarer, um, Tales of um, Symphonia, at least the PAL version is anyway, the UK version. It's uh, it's pretty expensive, I snagged it for like 12 quid or something. I got really lucky there on eBay, but... Yeah, it's 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 pretty hard to find now for for a good price. You have to shell out a little bit of money for it. Um, but yeah, obviously I'm missing some vital games in the GameCube collection. But you know, I'll get around to getting them eventually. Uh, on to PS2, which I should probably start collecting these now. To be honest, because these are going to start getting more expensive, aren't they? But uh, obviously we've got Dragon Quest VIII, uh, Final Fantasy X, Forbidden Siren 2, Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2, Manhunt. Um, Metal Gear Solid 3, Akame, Onimusha, Persona 3, Project Zero, Silent Hill 3, and Silent Hill Origins, which is actually, for some reason, this game is actually quite expensive now. I'm not sure why, but uh, I think it's just the PS2 version that's expensive, but yeah, the price seems to be going up on this game, so like I said, I don't know why, but it's not even that good of a game, nor is it ever that much of a big release, but I'm guessing it must just be hard to find or something. Anyway, let's move on down here. Um, my hands are shaking quite bad. Um, Star Ocean, The End of Time, uh, Valkyrie Profile, The Warriors, um, Xeno, uh, Saga Episode 2. For some reason, Episode 1 and 3 were never released in the UK, so I ain't touching that game until I've uh, picked up Episode 1, at least. So I don't know if I'm going to struggle to find them or not, but I have to get them imported. Uh, my PSP collection again, very small, um, not that big of a fan of handheld gaming, uh, never really have been to be honest, but yeah, I, ne I never really got my money's worth out of my PSP sadly, but uh, we got uh, Star Ocean, Third Departure, uh, Valkyrie Chronicles 2, which is still in its cellophane, never even opened that, uh, Valkyrie Profile, right there, um, Persona 3, I actually don't know why I've got that, I have... I have it on the PS2 and the PSP, and I, I, I've i never actually played any of the games in the series, but I hear very, very good things about it. So I don't know which one I should play when I get around to it. I, you, know, you, get, you guys let me know, should I... I mean, are they exactly the same versions, or has this got something that hasn't, or vice versa? 
Is this just a light version of it? I mean, I don't know which version's best, which I play, I don't know. You guys tell me. But yeah, that's that. Uh, we got the One Vita game down here, which is uh, the Japanese version of Uncharted, since I had my uh, Vita, which is there, imported from Japan along with this game. Because I wanted to get it early, I don't know why, I wish I wouldn't have. <laughs> Because uh, I've barely touched it, I mean it's covered in dust up there, but there's like no games for it, I should have just waited for a price drop. And maybe then there'd be some good games out by the time, but yeah, too late now. Uh, obviously 3DS, a very small collection, uh, Ocarina of Time 3D. Uh, don't know why it's two box, I think it was something to do with a pre-order, you got like a uh, gold box and the other box, something like that. Yeah, obviously one of the best games of all time, now in 3D. Well, I'm not much. Don't really care for the 3D, but at least it's portable and has a nice new gold paint on it. Uh, Super Mario Land 3D, uh, Resident Evil Revelations, which is the closest we've got so far to old school Resident Evil. It's pretty damn good. I like this game. Uh, it does feel a little bit like the older ones. It's still kind of the over top, over the shoulder view, and it's still a bit more action oriented. But it's got the atmosphere. I like it. Now onto the very small again DS collection. Uh, Chrono Trigger, a game I still have not yet played. I know, shame on me, because this game is so highly praised. I just hear nothing but amazing things about this, and this actual DS version is the only version of this game ever released in the um, UK, so at some point I will get on to doing this game. I will do it. But yeah, uh, Final Fantasy IV, the remake, Castlevania, uh, Golden Sun, Kingdom Hearts, Hotel Dusk, Dragon Quest IX, Spirit Tracks, Legend of Zelda, and The World Ends With You, which is still on its cellophane again. Not played this game yet, don't know why it's the American copy, but it is. Um, Dragon Quest VI, that's also an American copy, I didn't that imported because I wanted to play it early. Uh, this is also imported, uh, 9 hours, 9 persons, 9 doors, Not never released in the um, uh, UK, so yeah, I had that imported, I heard good things about it. My favourite uh, Game Boy game of all time, my favourite handheld game of all time to be honest, uh, in The Legend of Zelda, Link's Awakening DX, the colour version, just just one of my favourite Zelda games actually, just amazing and it's in pretty damn good condition actually. I'm not sure what price this is going for now, but I imagine it's reasonable, especially in such good condition, but yep, yeah, that's that. Uh, we've got Metroid Fusion, Golden Sun, uh, Golden Sun. The, uh, the Lost Edge, and here's my prized possession of my collection, Final Fantasy VI on the Game Boy Advance. Uh, this game is freakishly hard to find, it's so rare at least to find it in its box in such good condition and you will have to pay a lot of money, and that's if you, even, even, even if you can find it, it's, it's ridiculous. Um, I'm, I did have to pay quite a lot of money for it, but it, still, it was still a good deal. And uh, yeah, like I said, it's very rare, at least the PAL version is anyway, I mean most of the ones on eBay are either the American copy, or they're bootlegs, and most of them are bootlegs. So if you want the UK copy, make sure it has the PEGI rating on it, not the uh, the American, what's the American equivalent, um, what is it, uh, ES, yeah, the ESRB, make sure it's got the PAL, the PEGI rating on it, but yeah, I'm very, very, very proud of that one, glad to have that in my collection and one of my favourite Final Fantasy games and sadly it was the only version of this game released in the UK obviously it was known as Final Fantasy 3 in the States when it came out um, anyway back onto the Dreamcast uh, Echo Dolphin we've got Soul Calibur, Sonic Adventure 1 and 2, Headhunter Sky of Skies of Arcadia, that's quite expensive got that in, that's in really good condition uh, Resident Evil Code Veronica, my personal favourite in the Resident Evil series, amazing game. And obviously I'm missing two very, very vital games in that collection, those being Shemu 1 and 2. Um, but they're very hard to find, well, at least in great condition, which is what I want them and I won't settle for anything less. You know, Shemu 1 and 2 are like two of my most favourite games of all time. And I want, obviously they both came in like a card sleeve for the case to go in and a lot of the ones I've been seeing on eBay are very tatty, so I want them in mint condition. Where are they find them all that I don't know. I'm probably gonna have to pay a lot of money for them. But hey, it's Shemu, right? It's worth it. 
Anyway, on to the, uh, again, very small N64 collection. We've got Cheer Up, Cheer Up 2, uh, WCW S Anywhere Revenge, WrestleMania 2000, um, Super Mario 64, we've got um, Banjo Kazooie, Perfect Dark. And probably the only interesting one here in the N64 collection is my mint copy of Majora's Mask. Again, one of my favourite in the Zelda series. Um, yeah, and this is quite hard to find, at least in this condition it is anyway. And I think I picked it up for about 15 quid off Amazon. Obviously the seller had no idea that it could be worth something. So yeah, very lucky there. But yeah, brilliant game. Very proud of that. Um, sadly, I did have... Um, Two very rare gems on the N64 in pretty much mint condition. I had Banjo Tooie and um, Conker's Bad Fur Day in like really good condition, but I had a bit of a financial crisis and I needed to make some money quick. And I had to part ways with them, which was very sad, um, very <laughs> devastated about that because you collectors out there know how rare those two games are. Well, particularly Conker's Bad Fur Day, and to get them in mint condition is hard and you know very expensive. But yeah, I did have them, but yeah, not anymore. Anyway, quickly moving on to uh, PS1. Uh, obviously, Metal Gear Solid had to be there. Special Missions, uh, Final Fantasy 7, 8, and 9. Down here, we actually, this one's quite rare. Uh, we got a Legend of Dragoon. That's pretty expensive. And obviously, it's in really good condition, all the discs and manual and. Yeah, I think that's quite pricey now, so yeah, I'm happy about that one. And again, I've, I've not actually played this yet, but I will get around to it. I keep saying that, but, you know, uh, we have uh, Chrono Cross, obviously the American import, because it was never released over here. Same with Dragon Warrior 7. Uh, Xeno Gears, again, import. Uh, Doom, uh, Grandia. Uh, for some reason I have ECW Hardcore Revolution, <laughs> which is a god-awful game, but whatever. Um, Blood Omen, Legacy of Cain, uh, Legacy of Cain, Soul Reaver, um, Oddworld, Abe's Odyssey, and Abe's Exodus. Picked them up really cheap as well. I'm not sure what the usual price range is for these two, but they're two absolutely brilliant games. So I, I snagged them for an absolute bargain as well on eBay. But I don't know. I don't know how much they're worth now. But I got them anyway. Resident Evil Two and Three. Then onto my. S very small Saturn collection again. I did warn you, it's a very underwhelming collection, but whatever. We got Duke Nukem 3D, Sonic Jam, Knights into Dreams, Guardian. Actually, yeah, Guardian Heroes. That's really hard to find and quite expensive, but I think, again, it, it's harder to find than uh, most Saturn games, I believe. And uh, yeah, you got lucky there with that one. Um, it never seems to crop up on eBay nowadays, but yeah. Pretty cool one to have in the collection. Um, Die Hard Arcade as well. Got that one there. And Panzer Dragoon and Panzer Dragoon 2. Uh, I don't have Saga because it costs an absolute arm and a leg. It's ridiculous. It's mega expensive. But yeah, onto the. Look at this. One of my favourite consoles ever. And one of my favourite childhood consoles being uh, the, the Super Nintendo. And I only have three games. Three measly games. But uh, they are three great games, actually. Uh, my favourite in the Donkey Kong um, series being uh, Donkey Kong 2. Um, Diddy's uh, Conquest, which is just... This, oh, the music in this game is unbelievable. Back when Rare were like one of the best developers going, this this is amazing. I absolutely love this game. But, uh, yeah. Donkey Kong 2. Um, got Secret of Mana. Right there, and obviously one of my favourite Zelda games again, the classic um, Link to the Past, which is actually the first Zelda game I ever played. But yeah, and then uh, finally we've got the Sega Mega Drive collection, uh, Golden Axe, Streets of Rage 1, Sonic 1 and 2, and uh, 3's down there somewhere, there's Sonic 3, uh, it's quite dark down here actually, um, we've got Shinobi, Shinobi 3, uh, Echo the Dolphin, Fantasy Star 2, Shining Force 1 and 2, um, Echo the Tides of Time, is it called? Yep. And uh, Ristar, or Rystar, whichever you want to call it. I've always called it Ristar. So, yeah, that's, actually, that's one of my favourite um, Genesis uh, Mega Drive games of all time. It was just amazing. Um, but, yeah, that's it. Like I said, um, 
pretty underwhelming collection, nothing special really at all, again it's very small, uh, I'm missing some absolute classics in there, so many more to buy, but you know, I just thought I'd show it anyway, um, like I said, something different for the channel, so uh, I don't know, I might start doing collection update videos, like some YouTubers do, you know, pick up, show off what they've recently bought, whether it be, you know, the newer games, or maybe some old classics, but it might be a while yet until I start buying some more retro games since they are pretty expensive and um, money's quite tight at the moment for me but uh, yeah but anyway that's my gaming collection I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and uh, see you guys later peace out